hi how are you hope you are safe at home okay let us come back to school welcome to school welcome to it period lesson 1 computer fundamentals let us study about computer fundamentals a computer performs different functions as per the instructions given by us now you will be wondering what do you mean by instructions so let me tell you instructions means the commands which we are giving to the computer to perform a task which consists of useful facts or figures called data okay what do you mean by instructions suppose i tell you please stand up open your book and uh, take page number this so i am giving some instructions to you same way we are giving some instructions which are also called as commands to the computer for what we are giving the instructions to the computer to perform a task to do a work which consists of useful facts or figures which are called as data what does this instruction contain this instruction contains some useful facts or figures which are also called as the data now why how do we provide data do we provide data by using the input devices you studied in your smaller grades what are the input devices which are the processing device and the output devices so let us have once more a small look on it input devices see the pictures here keyboard you are aware of it mouse joystick microphone barcode reader stylus pen web camera touch pad touch screen finger print reader you know what is finger print reader you might have seen teachers they are pressing their fingers on it and their attendance have been marked over it so this are the input devices through which we feed our data to the computer you all know it the processing device what is the processing device yes cpu the brain of the computer next one output devices few examples of output devices are what are this monitor printer here also printer and speaker some of the output devices now how does a computer function using ipo cycle what is the full form of ipo yes input processing output now this ipo has got three stages ipo cycle has got three stages first stage is called the input stage okay first stage is the input stage what happens in this input stage let us look on to in this stage the data and instructions are provided through input devices as i showed you the input devices are keyboard mouse scanner micr microphone light pen webcam and so on so how do we provide data by using the input device and that is the first stage of the computer then second stage is called the processing stage how do we process obviously by using the cpu and cpu is carrying out the instruction which is given to it and the finally the last stage is the output stage the third stage in this stage the output is produced only after processing is over after that the output devices such as monitor printer speaker projector and plotter these are the output devices which we use for producing the result so a computer functions using an ipo cycle the ipo cycle has three stages input stage processing stage and output stage so this is the figure of an ipo cycle input then processing and then output output is then again put to input here processing it is stay storing some data inside the cpu now what is there inside the computer cpu you might have seen the cpu case okay so the cpu is a small hardware component that takes input by the user and it performs operations and instruction and then it transmits the result to an output device what it is doing 
it is taking the input which we give it then it is processing it and then it is producing the result it is also called as the brain of a computer now this cpu has two main components which are the arithmetic and logic unit and control unit see the cpu case okay now what do you mean by arithmetic and logic unit as the name suggests it is responsible for all types of calculations what type of calculations it performs arithmetic operations such as addition subtraction multiplication and division and also logical operations means less than greater than equal to less than equal to greater than equal to and not equal to these are the logical operations for example when we input some two numbers suppose we want to add two numbers so we are typing through the keyboard as data and want to multiply them these two numbers are sent from the keyboard we are sending this by typing through the keyboard and then where it is sent it is going to the memory of the cpu what happens then from the memory it is sent to the arithmetic logic unit for multiplication what it is doing over there arithmetic logic unit it is doing the processing work it is doing the multiplication and finally what happens after doing the calculation it is sending the result back to the memory so arithmetic logic unit is used for, for performing arithmetic as well as logical operations next one is control unit control unit is responsible for controlling and guiding the instructions as i said cpu is the brain of the computer computer is controlling all the operations by the cpu and uh, there is one unit which is controlling everything what is that unit yes it is control unit it is responsible for controlling and guiding the instructions what instructions the cpu gets the control unit gets informations from the memory from where it is getting the memory from the uh, cpu gets the instructions from the memory and then what it does it executes this instruction suppose i say 2 plus 3 then what it is doing it is adding the two numbers after the execution is completed the control unit seeks signal to the memory then it is waiting for the signal from the memory to get it to send the next instruction it is waiting for the next instruction what it has to do then it also controls the flow of data from input devices to memory and from memory to output devices what it is doing it is controlling the flow of the data from input devices to memory and from memory to output devices so what did we study today what is our lesson name yes the lesson name is computer fundamentals what are the chapter what does the chapter include it is telling us that computer performs different functions as per the instructions given by us what are the instructions instructions means the command which we give to the computer and how by giving some data what do you mean by data data means the facts or figures okay the next one we studied is we saw some input devices then we saw the processing device the next one is the output devices and then we studied how does a computer use by using function by using the ipo cycle input processing and output cycle it has got three stages input stage processing stage and output stage in input stage the computer is being fed by using the devices keyboard mouse etc the second stage is the processing stage and the last one is the output stage which is producing the result 
this is the figure of the IPO cycle and what is there inside CPU? CPU is a small hardware component which takes the input by the user, it is performing the operations and then it is providing the result through the output device. CPU is also called as the brain of the computer. Now CPU has got how many components? Two components, arithmetic and logic unit, control unit. Arithmetic and logic unit controls thus all arithmetical and logical calculations. Control unit controls the and guides the instructions given by us. That is all for today. Thank you.